if you had a chance to talk to some young and uh, aspiring strength and conditioning professionals, and I don't care if it's in the, in the strength and conditioning world at the college level or, or the personal training world in the, in the private sector, I mean, what's one really sound message that you'd have to, to give to them? That's a great question. That's something I've been lucky enough to have some awesome mentors in my career, you know, in a way uh, uh, I like to pay it forward is that I take on interns. I take on interns in the summertime. I try to take a, a two. Um, I also try to take one during the uh, during the season if I can, uh, if if, the, if management allows me to in terms of funding and stuff like that. The culture of young, aspiring, strength and conditioning coach now sometimes doesn't realize the work that needs to be put in. And when I say work, it's not the long hours at the gym. It's not the long hours of reading and staying abreast of all the great information that's out there because that's a given. You have to do that. That's just part of our job. I think they go to these amazing internships, go through the whole summer experience or you go through, uh, you know, a collegiate season at a high, uh, uh, you know, a, a major college institution. They think that's it. They think that, okay, now the phone should ring. Uh, or I'm going to pick up the phone and I'm going to have job offers. It's not that. It, that is not the case. I, I think it's. It would be foolish for these young professionals to think that one internship, no matter how great it is, no matter how high profile the internship is, uh, they should not think that just because they've done that they are ready, or that um, potential teams or institutions will come and look for them. The generation of of strength coaches that I grew up uh, with. Uh, you know, Sean Skain with the Anaheim Ducks, Sean Hayes with the University of Georgia, Jim Schneider at the University of Wisconsin. We've done multiple experiences at different institutions, and I'll tell you what, I wouldn't have changed it for the world. I don't think I would be here today if I did not get exposed to multiple internships, and we were talking over a span of eight years that we would go to different institutions um, and, and or spend our summers with a different at a different location learning something and, and training. I, I would not be where I am today if I did not do that. And if there's something I could – any advice I would offer a young professional is to, to understand that's what it's going to take. And, you know, if you did an internship, a great high-profile internship at one of the, one of the um, institutions that's out there, private or, or a big college program or professional team, then that's great. What's your next step? Where are you going to go next? What, you know, what don't you know that you want to learn about? Maybe you can get an internship going there. To say resume builder, I guess you want to build your resume as, as much as you can for a classic term, you know? Well, coach, I really appreciate you taking some time out of your day here to share some thoughts. I'm really uh, looking forward to actually asking more questions. I was typing down notes here as you were talking. I think you brought up a lot of cool topics that uh, have made me, made me think here a little bit. So, I hope this is an opportunity for us to just talk a little more shop on a regular basis and, and help one another from both sides of it, uh, me helping you and you helping me. I'm, uh, I'm open to having conversations about a lot of different things. Uh, uh, I, I got three or four here that I, I'm looking forward to just sending you on an email. If, yep. if anybody had any types of questions about training ice hockey players or being involved in the field or, or just needed someone to talk to about some of the things that they're going through or experiencing, I mean, how could they go about reaching out to you just to, to establish that conversation? And what are some really good resources to use to learn more about training ice hockey players? You know, I invite our, our listeners, if they want to talk some hockey training, to uh, they can reach out to me directly at, um, at my email address, uh, mpotenza at sjsharks.com. Also, myself, Sean Skane with the Anaheim Ducks, uh, Kevin Neal at Endeavor Hockey in Baltimore, and Daryl Nelson with the uh, U.S. National Team Development Program in Ann Arbor, Michigan. We, the four of us have a site called HockeyStrengthAndConditioning.com or HockeySC.com. We started that site with the goal of providing a one-stop shop for hockey training, um, research, uh, programs, videos, you name it, a forum, which is very strong now that you can talk to us and, and talk to some other great professionals in hockey, um, not only in our country, but in Canada and, and in Europe. Our goal is to have that as a, a stop for hockey research, and skating is included on there as well. They can go there. We, it's a membership-driven site. It's a dollar for the first week. Uh, the cost is very low, similar to like a strengthcoach.com. The forum there is very strong because you get some great feedback from multiple people, not just me, Sean, Kevin, and Daryl. And the email, if you have questions, um, for any one of us on there is hockeystrength at gmail dot com, uh, but it's a great site. It's very valuable to us because we are we're learning things from other contributors as well. Well, Mike, I know you're a busy man, and I really appreciate you taking some time out of your day here just to 
answer some questions for me and, and try to give me a little more insight into the training the ice hockey player here. I, I think it's a really cool opportunity to uh, get a chance to work with some guys with some really big-time motors, and I'm sure you have a blast doing it. I look forward to keeping in touch, man. Thanks again for spending some time. If there's anything ever I can do to help you, please do not hesitate to let me know. If you're ever here on the East Coast, please you know, shoot me a text or, or an email, and uh, I'd love to meet you firsthand and see what you do, my man. Definitely. I appreciate your time. appreciate you having me on here, and I do look f- forward to opening up the commu- lines of communication between us in the future. Perfect, Coach, man. I hope all's well. Have a great day, and, and we'll uh, be sure to keep in touch here pretty regularly. All right. Thanks again, Robert.